I am about to replace this dehumidifier. It is a Frigidaire that came with this house. It is in our garage and we're in Northern California in a, an area that's very humid in the winter. And it never gets that cold here, but it, it rains a lot and uh, the garage gets extremely damp and uh, my tools get rusty if this thing isn't running. It's set up next to the outside wall of the garage. And, and here's the hose coming from the back of it that just goes in, into a hole that was drilled in the wall. Now this hose is kind of narrow and I'm not sure if that was part of the problem why there was leak uh, there was leaking underneath the dehumidifier. The water flows just outside next to the foundation and I don't like that and so I'm gonna try something a little bit different. So we bought a new dehumidifier. It's, it's very similar to this one. Uh, this one is a 50 pint. The new dehumidifier is a 70 pint. And here's the hose where it comes out from the, the wall of the garage. And you know, this is better I think than having to keep coming out and to the garage and emptying the water bucket. But this, this area is really damp around here. And this is where there's supposed to be a French drain. Uh, there kind of is, but we're gonna completely redo this. But basically I don't, I don't want water dumping out here because it's already very damp out in this area. The other reason that I'm replacing this is that the water was not flowing down that tube where the, uh, it's supposed to go outside. And instead it was pooling up around the ground around the dehumidifier. So the dehumidifier was taking the water out of the air and putting it onto the floor. So that's not uh, ideal. And then the other thing is that this dehumidifier is supposed to shut off when the humidity go gets down to a certain level. And that feature isn't working anymore. It always thinks it's like 90% humidity in the garage. And it is, the humidity is very high out here, but it's, uh, it, it doesn't read the humidity accurately anymore. So I'm gonna take out the new dehumidifier and I have a pump for it that will take the condensate and pump it up into our laundry sink that's in the garage. So I'm gonna get that set up and see how that works. A couple things to be aware of about dehumidifiers. One, this is right on the outside of the box right here, do not tip. You don't want to start running it if it's been sitting sideways for a while. So this says, if tipped, return to upright position, allow two hours for coolant to settle prior to using. The other thing that I found out in my research was that these don't work at very low temperatures. And for us in Northern California here, I don't think that's really a problem, but And maybe for most people, it isn't really a problem because for a lot of people, you're probably using a dehumidifier when it's hot out. We have sort of the opposite situation here where it's damp in the winter. This is the back of the dehumidifier and this cap unscrews. And this is uh, where you attach a garden hose or a hose with a garden hose thread on it to have continuous straining of the water uh, so that the water doesn't accumulate in the, 
the tank in the bottom of the dehumidifier. And one thing that I noticed is in the manual, it says the drain hose is supposed to be one half inch or larger diameter. The hose that is on our existing dehumidifier is smaller than that, I'm pretty sure. So that might have been contributing to the problems with the water draining. But with the new dehumidifier, I'm going to do something different with the hose. So let's take a look at that. So I looked at short garden hoses because I, di I didn't want to buy a long garden hose and then have to just cut like two feet out of it and then throw the rest out or something. I looked at short dehumidifier drain hoses on Amazon. They all seem to have pretty crappy reviews. So I ordered this three quarter inch braided PVC tubing for industrial use only. I hope the hose police don't come and see what I'm doing here, but uh, this is really stiff. And so I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too stiff for what I'm doing. So I have this and then uh, I ordered this hose uh, thread connector that I'm gonna stick on the end of it. So let's let's try to do that. It's pretty clear that this bracket that's supposed to go around the hose uh, was made for a much thinner garden hose. And this stuff is, it's really hard and thick. I don't know if you can see this, but I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very stiff. So that, that thing didn't fit on, and so I just put on a hose clamp. There's not going to be any pressure in in here, so I'm not really worried about anything. I mean, even with the hose clamp not on here, this uh, barbed connector fits really tightly inside the hose, so uh, this should be fine. I am a little bit concerned about how stiff this is, though, for the, the drain. Uh, behind the dehumidifier, so we got to see how that works out. All right, so here's where things get kind of interesting. Uh, we've got the hose here. It's attached onto the back of the dehumidifier. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really stiff. It would be nice if it was a little bit uh, more flexible, but I think this will work fine. So... The dehumidifier is going to be here-ish, and the sink that I want to drain into is right here. And what I'm going to use to get the water up into the sink is this condensate pump. Uh, I've seen these around and never really knew what they were, but now I know. Water comes out of the dehumidifier and goes into this hole with the hose. And then there's a pump in here. This is a reservoir at the bottom where the water fills up. And when it gets to a certain height, the pump turns on and pumps it up through this thin hose out of here into the hose. And then it's gonna go into the sink. So I need to kind of get everything positioned and set up and then we can turn this on and see if everything see if it works might be uh tomorrow until i know if it's actually working or not okay the instructions are pretty straightforward there's a couple of interesting things to note the pipe that the hose that comes from the 
dehumidifier into the pump is supposed to be cut at an angle where it goes into the hole uh, right here on the, the uh, pump reservoir. And then the other thing is that the outlet from the pump right here, this hose, it's uh, supposed to either go up and then come down to the same level where the pump is. Well, I can't do that. Or make an inverted U trap directly above the pump at the highest point. So I think that's going to be where it goes into the sink. It's going to go over the edge of the sink and then there will be an inverted U going down into the sink. Got the dehumidifier. Pump is right behind it. Here's the hose. Cut at an angle. I guess so that it doesn't, when, if it's kind of resting on the bottom of the reservoir, it'll just back up and the water won't flow into there. Uh, I had to shorten this several times because I didn't want to make it too short, but it was too long and so I had to keep shortening it. Pump's gonna be back there. I need to attach the outlet hose for the pump and run it up to the sink and then hopefully that'll be it. All right, got this dehumidifier set up. It's the next day and I had this running last night. Uh, it works unlike the old one. It goes off when the humidity goes down after it's been running for a little while, so that's nice. And the pump works also back here. Now I was gonna run that up into this sink, but then I thought about it for a little bit and I was thinking, well, if the water is collecting in the sink, then it's going to evaporate into the air. And, uh, you know, some of it's going to go down to the drain, but it's a pretty wide, flat surface for water to just kind of collect in. So then I was thinking, oh, well, we have this drain right here for the washing machine, and uh, that's a perfect place to have the pump uh, put the water. So I ran the hose uh, under the hot water heater here and then up to a little staple and underneath the back of the sink and then uh, in down into the, the drain for the washer. It's goes down about uh, a couple feet into there so it's uh, it's not gonna fall out and I used a cable tie on here just to make sure that it doesn't drop out. Yeah, it's good to test the pump to make sure that it's working so you don't end up with this overflowing and then the water just spilling out onto the floor. So the this pump has three openings into the reservoir and it comes with little caps to close the openings that you're not using. But uh, if you take the one of the caps off and then pour some water in and then you can hear the pump go on and make sure that it's, it's working. So it empty, empties out pretty quickly and it's pretty quiet. Our bedroom is right on the other side of this wall and couldn't hear the pump. I can definitely hear the dehumidifier when it's running, but it's not that loud. Uh, it's not loud enough to keep me awake, so. And one thing that's nice about these, both of these is that they're clear. So you can see if if there's water in there and if, if, it's, if it's moving. Uh, so that's one thing to consider when you're uh, choosing the hose that you want to use for this kind of installation. So I'm happy with how this turned out. I feel like I'm less worried about 
mold growing in the garage here and also having the water just sort of slowly dripping out next to our foundation because I'm one of the things I'm going to be working on over the summer is the the drainage around our house and so any I feel like anything I can do to uh, improve that will be useful and I think this is just a much better way of running a dehumidifier instead of uh, as opposed to the way that it was set up before in this house. Wanted to do a quick follow up just on how the dehumidifier has been working. I have this humidity monitor, temperature monitor thing in our garage and I reset uh, the readings, the all time reading, so it keeps track of the high and low humidity levels and it has been between it it's, hasn't gone above 64 and the low is 59 so that's that's uh, after a couple weeks of running the new dehumidifier so I think it's working great we've had really high humidity in this in the area and uh, it's it's been able to keep things under control in our garage so I'm really happy with how it's working out